Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about the designing of monostable multivibrator. So how to design a monostable multivibrator, a stable multivibrator? Designing is also very important when you are going for the calculation of uh, parameters of individual transistors like uh, HFE value, IC value, VCC and VBB values like resistors and everything. Each and every parameter which is associated with the design of uh, monostable multivibrator is very very important. Suppose if you see this circuit diagram, the values of R1, R, R2, capacitor value, VBB, okay, VCC, all these values have impact on the operation of the monostable multivibrator. So, a problem is given like that. Calculate the component values of component values of a monostable multivibrator is nothing but you are asked to design this particular monostable multivibrator. So, developing an output pulse of 500 microseconds duration. So, time period of the output expected gate width is given like a time period uh, 500 microseconds and assume the beta value HFE minimum beta is nothing but HFE minimum value is given 25 IC sat collector current which is in saturation when the transistor is said to be in saturation that value is given like a 5 milliamperes and VCC value is given which is 10 volts I already told you VCC value which is a tenth of volts like 10 volts 12 volts 15 volts okay it is in the order of 10 and VBB value is given which is a negative voltage that is minus 4 volts. Now the circuit to be designed is this one. So in stable state we are assuming so assume a quiescent state like a stable state Q2 is in on state and Q1 is in off state. Okay. So then we see set We see set also assumed to be like a 0.4 volts and VB set assume something like 0.8 volts. Okay, this is the data we should consider. First, you have assumed the status of the transistors like Q1 and Q2 and VC set and VB set, these are the saturation voltages we are assuming. Now, first one is calculation of collector resistance RC calculation of collector resistance RC okay here the collector resistance is this one this is collector resistance RC so RC how to calculate RC value RC is equal to VCC minus which transistor is in on state Q2 so VCC minus VC2 divided by IC2 set IC2 set C we have assumed that Q2 is in on state so here it is VC2 here it is VCC and the current flowing through this one is IC2 as the transistor is a second transistor we are taking it as IC2 so VCC minus VC2 by IC2 okay this V by I is nothing but RC okay so now we already know VC2 as the transistor is in on state the voltage from here to here it is VCE set okay that's why it is equal to VCC minus VCE set divided by IC2 set. So all the values are known. That is equal to 10. VCC is given as 10 minus VC set. We have assumed it as 0 0.4 divided by IC2 set. IC2 set is given that is 5 milliamperes. 5 into 10 power minus 3. So that is equal to that will give you a value of 1.92 kilo ohms. So this is first calculation. Coming to the second one, calculation of calculation of R. So what is the calculation of R 
resistance that is existed from the capacitor here. See here, this is calculation of resistance R which is connected from VCC to the base 2. VCC to the base 2 for the capacitor to charge here. Okay, so calculation of R which is given as IB2 as the transistor is in non state, IB2 is minimum flowing that is equal to IC2 which is in saturation divided by HFE minimum. Thereby we can calculate this 5 by 25, 1 by 5, it is 0.2 milliamperes. Now, let IB2 which is the actual value is equal to 1.5 times IB2 minimum. Okay, this is the theoretical notation. IB2 actually we should have a minimum value of 1.5 times than that of the current which is flowing when the transistor is in saturation region, IB2 minimum. Okay, that's why that is equal to 1.5 into 0 0.2 into 10 power minus 3 that is equal to 0 0.3 milli amperes. This is actual value of IB2. Therefore, R is equal to VCC minus C. How can we write this? Go to the expression VCC which is the current flowing here. This is IB2. Okay, the current flowing from VCC through R and then entering into the base 2 of this transistor. So, VCC minus VB2 divided by IB2. Okay. So, it is VCC minus VB2 divided by IB2. That is equal to 10 minus 0. 8. We have assumed VB2 is nothing but as the transistor is the non-state, it is VB set divided by 0 0.3 that is equal to 30.667 kilo ohms. If you simplify this, you will get this value. Now, calculation of C value. Calculation of C. Where is C? This is the main part which is used to change the state, this one. Okay, because of the existence of this particular capacitor, one state is a quasi stable state, and existence of this resistor R2, this changes the uh, this will not change the state, that's why it is a stable state. Okay, that's why it is having one stable state and one quasi stable state. So, calculation of C, and we know the gate width. The gate width formula we have already calculated the gate width. T is equal to 0 0.693 times R into C time constant. Okay, so C is equal to T by 0 0.693 into R. See, everything we have already uh, described and calculated individually, but one thing is we should know what type of equation we should use to get the particular value. And T is given like pulse width, I told you, which is 500 microseconds so micro means 10 power minus 6 divided by 0 0.693 into r value just now we have calculated as 30 kilo ohms approximately 30.667 into 10 power 3 so the capacitance value now it is 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.0235 0 0.0235 microfarads c value now coming to the calculation of R1 and R2 values. So R1 and R2 are nothing but here in this example I have what, I, what is the figure I have taken it is R2 and R3. So for your convenience I am changing the values R1 and R2. Okay. So R1 and R2 values we are going to calculate like this. So, calculation of R1 and R2. 
So how to calculate R1 and R2? We have assumed a condition when Q1 is in off state, Q2 is in on. So let V be one off value is equal to minus one volt. Okay, that is equal to we can write VB1 of value from the circuit minus VBB into R1 by R1 plus R2. Okay, see here. In this circuit, the voltage appeared at this particular VB1 and as this transistor is in off state, we have assumed. So, as this is in off state, there exists a voltage division rule. Off state means open circuited. So how can you write this VB1 VBB into R1 across which we are taking this voltage R1 divided by R1 plus R2. Okay. So VBB into this one plus VCE2 sat because on the other hand we are having a saturated transistor divided by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Okay. So if you simplify this minus 1 is equal to minus 4 into R1 value, we don't know R1 by R1 plus R2 plus 0 0.4 into R2 by R1 plus R2. Therefore, if you simplify this, there will be a relation between these two. R2 is equal to 2.143 times R1. This is the relation between R1 and R2. So in quasi-stable state, Q1 is in on state and Q2 is in off state. Assuming that the Q1 is equally driven into saturation in quasi-stable state, in quasi-stable state, Q1 is on, Q2 is off, assuming that Q1 is equally driven into saturation. So IB1 actual is equal to VCC minus VB1 into sat VB, VB sat VBE1 saturation voltage divided by RC plus R1 minus VBE1 sat minus of minus VBB divided by R2 that is equal to 10 minus 0 0.8 divided by RC plus R1 minus 0 0.8 plus 4 divided by R2. Just substituting these values 0 0.3 times. Already we have calculated this 0 0.3 milliamperes. So that is equal to you will be having R1 is equal to I am not calculating each and every line just I am taking the values directly. R1 is equal to 20 0.5 kilo ohms. If you substitute this R1 in the previous expression like this, then R2 is equal to 2.143 times R1 that gives the 44.09 kilo ohms for R2 value. Okay, so in this way we can calculate R1 and R2 values, and one more is there. Actually, we will be having one capacitance across this resistor in the basic standard diagram. This capacitor is used to speed up the process. Okay, already I told you attenuation in, the, in terms of attenuation, the capacitance action is to speed up the action. Okay, so this capacitance C1 acts as a speed up capacitor, or transverse capacitor or commutating capacitor. So this capacitance value can also be calculated after this. So speed up capacitor C1 is equal to or we can C1 can be calculated C1 can be 
calculated as R1 C1 is equal to 1 micro second. Okay, so because we are choosing this value, it is chosen value. Okay, we are choosing a value such that R1 T, uh, C1 is equal to 1 micro second. And hence C1 is equal to 1 micro second by R1 value we have just calculated 20.5 into 10 power 3. That is equal to 48.6 picofarads. See, in the examination, suppose if you don't know what should be the value you have to consider for the calculation of C1, simply leave the C1 value, no problem. Okay, remaining parameters are very much important. If you don't know how to calculate the speed up capacitor value, simply discard it. Okay, so in this way, we can calculate all the parameters which are associated with the design of monostable multivibrator with the given values. Thank you.